first meal of the day is two scoops of salted caramel my protein in pack whey, one ser uh, half a serving of Hershey's syrup, and one serving of rolled oats. Welcome back to another full day of bulking, guys. 4,000 calories, 600 carb, 200 protein, 89 fat. Macros for the day. I really hope you enjoy it. home from the gym. It's around 11.30. I only ate that one meal this morning, which was only around... 400 calories or so so I definitely have a lot more food left to eat today so the best thing to do right now is just make up something nice and easy just because I want to start editing that video the one before this just because it's going to be a long video to edit you guys know I put like six hours of editing into videos so if I want to get it done by tonight and uploaded tonight I need to make sure that I start it about right now so what I'm going to do is just make something quick and easy, literally kind of like very similar to what I had this morning and just get started on that editing. I started instead of making something nice and quick and easy, just because of the fact that I haven't had like many micronutrients in terms of vegetables in like the last week. I literally haven't guys. I like to promote 100% honesty on this channel so my vegetable intake and everything has dropped off so much with work. Just because I haven't been this good with my time management. So what I'm having is all this sweet potato, all this pumpkin, all this veal mince, and all these tomatoes. Now it's a good amount of potassium micros and everything, so it's going to be a nice delicious meal, and I'm definitely going to enjoy it. just to have half of that just because the amount of food is so high I don't want to be consuming like more than a kilogram in this one sitting just because I know it's going to give me some digestive distress later on down during the day when I have to get all those extra calories in also due to the fact that there's this high amount of protein in this meal I don't want to be eating all of it at once because I will just get overly full and probably just need to crap but anyway I'm just going to dig into this and enjoy it because I have not eaten something like this in a while I'm really looking forward to it. I'm around an hour later after that last meal. I decided just to chuck the rest of that uh, concoction, I suppose, just on a, in two pieces of the bread and chuck some pizza sauce on there just for some extra salt and carbs. I'm also just going to have some my protein BCAAs right now and get started on the editing. I kind of took a bit too long in terms of actually getting around to starting that. It's been around an hour since I got home, so I just need to jump into that. So I'm going to catch you guys in around two hours. So that's the next meal. It's just 90 grams of oats, Hershey's syrup, a bit of protein, and two wheat mix. It's essentially just a lot of carbs. Not really, it's only like 40, 50 carbs, because I don't really need that much more protein at the moment, guys, and my fat intake, I do need more, but I generally don't actually have that many fat sources in the house itself. So the whole thing I'm doing this afternoon is around 4.30, going shopping with Josh, going to go pick up some fat sources and things like that. Maybe something just a little naughty, just because I am bulking and I have so many calories to eat every single day. And also, it is a day I'm filming a video, so I thought I might do that just because that way you guys get like a little bit of enjoyment out of it. You get to watch me eating some delicious food. So I do apologize if you're on a cut and watching me eat that food is just making you cringe and get extremely hungry. But you know exactly what it's like during a bulk, especially when you aren't hungry whatsoever. So you just have to sometimes eat some bad food that makes you want to eat. It's nearing about 4 o'clock now. I haven't eaten anything, otherwise I would have shown you, like, since that last meal. But what I really want to talk about is the fact that the video is done. It took around 3 hours or so to edit at the most. I expect 2.5. So that's either means one of two things. One, I'm getting really good at Premiere Pro and editing that specific style. Or two, it's shit. I really hope it's the first one, you know, but we'll have to wait and see. That is a juicy peach, friends. No better way than to celebrate getting your shopping already up to on one trip than by having a juicy peach. Now, but in all seriousness, in all seriousness, guys, I'm gonna put all this shit away, and then I'm gonna decide what my 
remaining like 1800 calories are going to come from after this. Cheers. Show you guys, I've just got three servings of antioxidant left, uh, 250 mils of almond milk, and a 89 gram banana. I'm not sure if the quantities are really necessary for you guys, you're probably more interested in the content of food, but I decided to just show you guys at least that, or tell you guys that. Nonetheless, this is what I'm going to eat right now. I almost just wasn't going to film it because <coughs> I got so distracted with eating it. But <coughs> well now that's what I'm going to eat. I have like one more meal later on tonight. So, yeah. So I've got some Golden Gay Time Mint Biscuit Ice Cream, one banana, and I'm just about to watch some Team Wolf. I haven't watched shows in quite a while, so I'm kind of in the mood to maybe watch one or two episodes of some of the show for once. I haven't had that much free time, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna sit down and have the ice cream and watch this. I don't really promote eating shit food all the time, but that's just one meal. It's not that bad. You can just do that if it fits your macros. Because the best thing, guys, is about being consistent and sticking to it long term. So if it means having, say, ice cream every now and then, you can do that because it's better to have something that may be bad every so often so long as you're actually going to adhere to the diet in the long term. Anyway, I just basically said the same thing like three times. I'm rambling. I'm going to eat this and watch Team Wolf. The last meal of the day is just going to be 90 grams of muesli, uh, 100 gram banana, and uh, 15 grams of just protein powder. I did actually end up going a little bit over on the protein today, but essentially any excess protein I consume today is just going to be converted into glucose. So it's essentially the exact same as just eating those extra carbs, but my body just has to work that a little extra for it. So let's just wait for that. Um... <sighs> yeah, well, today I ate 4,031 calories, 220 protein, 587 carbs, 74 fiber, 181 sugar, 86 fat. 3,595 milligrams of sodium, 5,098 milligrams of potassium. Let's just say that the three bananas I ate today, the four peaches, and the excess of vegetables certainly had their effect on my digestive system. What's well, enough said, guys. I hope you enjoyed this first edition of a full day of bulking. Look forward to many more, and stick, stay tuned.